Well, we're going to make cheeseburgers. And this is going to be fun. We're going to take an egg and put it in a bowl. Then, I'm going to take some flour. This happens to be about a third cup measure, so there's one third cup, two third cups. And we're making a batter here, a batter. And I learned this batter a little bit. From Paper Cuts. Paper Cuts 77. I think that's the number on his name. It's Paper Cuts. And that is pancake batter. I've never ever thought or heard of putting pancake batter in there, but it makes complete sense. So actually what we're going to do, oh, I don't want water in there. Oh, I forgot. I've got some beer. Pour some beer in there. We're going to make just a simple beer batter. And it's not really has anything to do with measurements. You just uh, mix it around until it's uh, like pancake batter. And that's way too thick for pancakes, so it needs more beer. It's probably going to need most of it. Since I picked such a shallow bowl, it's going to be more difficult to mix it up. It takes longer. Mix this up. I don't know. I'm going to have to let this sit for just a few minutes for the flour to absorb better. I think it's probably okay. See, I still have lumps in there. So I think this is going to be okay. Kind of like a pancake batter. Fairly thin. And there we go. Okay, that's done. I'm going to let that sit. Okay, next I have a pound of hamburger in here, and I'm going to salt it just with regular salt. Needs a little bit of salt in there, and some pepper. We're going to make hamburgers out of this. And I have some um, breadcrumbs. I'm going to throw, oh, I don't know, a third of a cup, maybe half of a cup in there. Here's about a fourth of a cup of, well, I was going to tell you it's milk, but it's really cream. I'm out of milk right now, but I have cream. We're just going to mix this up and form this into three patties. I don't want my hamburgers to be very big. Normally I do make about two out of a pound, but um, you'll see why I'm going to make them smaller. And... So, just mix this up a bit, and it's pretty much mixed up now. I'm going to take a piece of wax paper, this is how I always form my burgers. And put it in there. Go like this and push it down, and that's my hamburger. I'm not going to do it like paper cuts and smash it against the wall or, or the side of the refrigerator. I'm not quite that wild. Well, I have my um, how hamburger bun here, and it's one of those small ones. It's not like the fancy big fat ones. And you'll see why I'm doing this. Um, so I have cheese on the top and the bottom. Put a little onion on the bottom. And some, uh, I have a couple slices of tomato. I'm going to salt them a little bit. Put those on the top. 
And I also have some Swiss cheese just because I want a little Swiss cheese on there. And some regular old hamburger pickles. And here's my burger. Put that on there. Then I'm going to combine this. This is my burger. It's falling apart over here a little bit. Now it's together. What I want to do is I want to push down on this. I want to push down on this pretty hard. I want to get a plate and push down on it too. And you'll see why in a second. Here's my hamburger, my cheeseburger that I made earlier. And I put some um, toothpicks in there because I don't want it to fall apart. And here's my batter. And my oil is heating up and it's hot enough because I have a, I just know because I have a thermometer in there. And I'm going to dunk this thing into the batter best I can. God, I hope this works out. This is my first time. Okay. I think it's going to work. I'll dunk that in there. Okay, there it is frying. I turned it over once. We're going to fry this baby up. And paper cut 777. You know, what do you think about this? Okay, it's been going about four minutes. I'm going to put it on paper and drain. It's, um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. It might be really, really good. We'll cut into it and try it in a second. Okay, here's our cheeseburger and some french fries. We'll cut this in half. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mmm. It's been sitting there about four minutes before I cut it. Four minutes gave me time to do the french fries, squirt some ketchup on them, but you know I've got to take a taste of it, mmm, my god, mmm, mmm, very good. He's a little salt. Hey, thanks for watching. Mmm. And thanks for watching. And you can also uh, check out Paper Link. Paper Cut. I'm sorry. His link. Paper cut 777 in the description and check out all his videos. He really is a good cook. See you later.